us now is Jessica Inskip, head of product and education at Options Play. Jessica, good to see you. You too, Mike. Thank you. You know, healthcare has been one of the strong spots in a weak market. I know you're finding some opportunities in the sort of biotech specialty pharma area. Detail some of those. Yeah, so biotech is definitely one of my, my higher picks, healthcare specifically. Um, I'm looking at one pick, Jazz Pharmaceuticals. So it looks like it's well positioned for the macro environment. Now I'm screening for something technically. This is showing bullish divergence. I've got a short term price, tar price target about $10 above the current stock price. So right now, this is a good pick due to the macro environment and technical bullish divergence that it's showing based on the charts. And uh, Biogen, another one, and also another one, by the way, which fundamentally screens out as, as looking kind of uh, inexpensive. That's correct. And that's, that's the same thing. So I'm, I'm looking for things in this biotech sector because of the macro environment and then a chart that is going to amplify bullish divergence. So it's something I can trade in the short term and also hold for the long term. And Biogen is showing those same factors that I screened for. So you say uh, short term 214 target 224 uh, somewhat longer term. So uh, maybe the run can continue there. Alibaba interesting play. Now the Chinese market has actually looked like uh, it might be bottoming China tech working better. Talk about Alibaba and how that's set up. Absolutely. So different technical environment, and that's extremely important. So I wanted to look for something with the Shanghai reopenings that perhaps the bottlenecks could be resolved. And like you said, that bottom bottoming and signs of that Alibaba has the most beautiful chart. Every indicator that's indicating upward momentum and bullish divergence has been confirmed. It has a short term resistance level that it needs to surpass in order to confirm that. But when it, once it hits that, that's the last check mark on the list to see really well upwards momentum. So this one's really Really, really technical. <laughs> and what would that level be that it needs to surpass? Do you think? Uh, that's 122. So that, 122. That's so. Mm -hmm. So old support. Six dollars up from here. Yeah. That's that's it. And that's so that's not that far. And so it, it's short term resistance and the way resistance tends to work once we surpass those levels, it's going to become new support. And then hopefully we'll see yeah. an upwards trend from there. All right, Jessica, thanks very much for the ideas. Appreciate it. Thank you.